In order for your YouTube advertising campaign to be a success, you need to ensure that you have high quality videos comprising both your channel and the adverts themselves. No matter how clever you are with your advanced organization, your bidding strategy or your targeting, your videos need to be high quality if you're going to get people to actually watch them and maybe buy your products. This is the part that can end up scaring off a lot of potential marketers. But as we'll see, it's perfectly possible to create great videos without needing the help of Steven Spielberg. In fact, if you're concerned about creating videos that feature you in front of the camera, you can actually still be successful without having to even own a camera, but we'll get to that option in a bit. Most people are going to want to create their own YouTube videos, and this is going to mean going in front of the camera. So how do you go about this? The first step, of course, is to invest in a decent camera if you can. Thankfully, most cameras these days will record in at least 1080 pixels, and you shouldn't have to spend too much to get a camera that does this. Some other features worth going into include wide-angle lenses, which will enable you to include more inside the image, and the option to add an external microphone for better audio. This latter feature is particularly important if your room has poor acoustics and your videos otherwise come out echoing or quiet. Note as well that a lot of displays these days are actually higher than 1080 pixels, and this is only going to be a trend that continues. If you want to future-proof your tech and your videos themselves, then it might be worth investing in a 2K or even a 4K camera. Now you're looking at spending a fair amount of money though, which is why a good strategy for many marketers is actually to use a camera phone. Believe it or not, many camera phones actually rival dedicated camcorders these days. The excellent camera on the Galaxy S6 and Note 5 phones, for instance, are actually capable of recording 4K and they have excellent video stabilization and other features. Seeing as you also get a phone when you buy one of these cameras, and you can get it on a monthly contract with no upfront expense, this is a great way to save money and to manage your cash flow as a solo entrepreneur. That's your hardware sorted out, but from there you also need to get some good software. In this case, that means a video editing suite such as Adobe Premiere, or Sony Vegas. And there are various permutations of both of these software packages ranging from top-end professional video editing suites right down to um, more consumer orientated software packages. But none of them are particularly cheap which is why some people would choose to use the free Windows Movie Maker instead. Now, I'll be honest with you, Movie Maker is very simplistic. It doesn't really do very much. And so it's going to be worth the added investment of getting one of these other two packages. They do offer a 30-day free trial, both on uh, Adobe Premiere. You can see there's a free trial here at the time that I'm making this video. Some of the uh, Sony Vegas packages also offer a free trial as well. So you get a month to use it before you have to pay, although with both of them, some of the features are turned off so that you can't actually use them until you've got the full version. Now, another free package that is quite advanced is DaVinci Resolve and it is a professional high-end video editing package and you do need a top-of-the-range computer to run it on and it can be a bit difficult to get your head around if you're not an editor but it is actually a very good piece of software and worth thinking about if you don't want to spend the money on something like um, Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere. Now, regardless of which package you decide to go for, good editing software will let you add things like attractive transitions, video overlays, video effects, and a whole lot more. And there are a few things that you can use here to really improve the look and feel of your videos. When editing your videos, the key is to record yourself speaking for longer takes, but then to cut rapidly. Give yourself lots of footage to work with, but then don't linger on shots. You want to keep up a constant momentum. 
add your logo to the video to make it look more professional and to give it a more professional feel, and cut shots of you speaking with other footage that has your voice narrating it. Videos that consist of a single person speaking in their bedroom will generally look you know, low quality and possibly even embarrassing. Adding music in the background can help you to give your video a more professional feel and ramp up the emotion to just how you want it and encourage a sale. When you do this, make sure you don't drown out your own voice and that you don't use music that you don't own the rights to. If you don't have any music to hand, then one option is to consider using a site like Fiverr.com to commission someone to write you a score. Otherwise, you can use music from a band if you know anyone musical, or you can use music that's royalty free, which means that you can use it without paying extra. Either way, making sure that your music isn't copyrighted will help you to avoid getting into trouble. Avoiding free music available through YouTube will prevent you from looking unprofessional. If you're going to be featuring in your video, then of course it's important that you look the part. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to be a supermodel, but if you want to inspire trust, then you need to speak confidently and fluently, and you need to be well-dressed. If you don't come across on screen as a charismatic presence, then find someone who does. You can hone your presentation skills as well by filming yourself and watching it back, and a general tip is to try speaking more slowly to avoid sounding nervous or stumbling over your words. Also important is the correct lighting. An ideal here is what's known as Rembrandt lighting, where you light your face from the side in order to create some contrasting shadows. You should also look into setting up your backdrop to look professional, and you should choose somewhere with good acoustics unless you're using a microphone.